starting this episode out hopefully not failing on this master farmer 45 thieving so now we can use uh, blackjacking and that'll be pretty nice for getting our thieving up but we need to do the mini quest to unlock the uh, maple blackjack offensive uh, basically that'll increase our chance of successfully knocking out the uh, targets when we're blackjacking on them so probably gonna go do that mini quest I'm also gonna be getting my agility up a bit probably not too high but we're definitely gonna try and get that up a bit I have to go do a farm run real quick and um, yeah then we'll go ahead and start the gains for the episode I think I'm also gonna go ahead and finish off the arty diaries real quick because I need to get a rusty sword and do biohazard which those should be fairly easy I have to hit up the Ali Morsain shop for um, some cosmic runes and there might be law runes in there I'm not entirely sure but if there is I'll go ahead and buy a couple and we can do the biohazard quest really really quick it'll be nice and easy so I'll be back in the next clip already in that blackjack game pretty nice um, this is a bit annoying just because I'm doing half manual and half um, HK you guys can probably obviously tell which part I'm doing manual and which part I'm doing HK. But um, yeah, it is fairly annoying. Um, just because if you lag, you will die here. Um, there's no doubt about it. I actually saw a hardcore Iron Man die here earlier, and it was so hilarious. But it made me think, what if that was me? So basically, as long as when he says, I'll kill you, if you uh, pickpocket him, he won't uh, continue attacking you, but you will take two rounds of damage, which is nine damage. So I have these wines here that I just buy from the bar to the um, south here, and they heal 11 each, so it's pretty nice. But more importantly, if you couldn't tell by the progress bar on the top of the screen, we're getting 50 thieving. So apparently the level 53 bandits are over where you do, I guess, AFK god armor wearing, gothening or whatever they want to call it these days. Um, so we actually have to thieve from this uh, bearded bandit until level 55 in which we can upgrade to these bandits with the scimitar. So a bit of a setback there, but not too bad, I suppose. Um, these are going pretty quick. I think it's going to be somewhere around like 29 to 30 kxp until level 55 so yeah all right level 55 thieving this means that we can now thieve from the bandits with the scimitars completely flew over my head because i'm talking to some friends on team speak right now but we managed to pick up level 60 thieving which is pretty nice um i'll be back with level 65 probably I want to say like in an hour or so, but it might be a bit longer than that because these thieving levels are starting to become a bit longer and we're not really getting that high of XP per hour currently. But um, yeah, I've got like 10k XP until level 61, so I'll be back with level 65. Alright, this should be level 65 thieving. Almost forgot there for a second. Now we can Thieve from Menophyte Thugs, which give us 137.5 XP each, which is a bit over 50 experience higher than what we're currently receiving, so we should be getting somewhere around like 130k XP per hour there, which will be pretty nice. Alright, level 70 Thieving, pretty nice, um, I'll record again at level 75 and then at 78. Um, we're currently averaging about like 120k XP per hour here. Uh, same damage as the previous bandits, so it's pretty nice. And pretty much the same fail rate too, so overall going really, really decently. Level 75 thieving. Gem stalls unlocked and gnomes. What the heck? Alright, never mind. I remembered that I double thieved there. Um, three more levels until level 78 and at level 78 we unlock the Dorgish and rich chests so we're going to be here for i'd say about another three hours ish which really isn't that bad but um it's about 418k experience away 
So I'll be back uh, with level 78. All right, pretty nice. Uh, should be getting level 78 thieving here shortly. I think I have like three more thefts left. Um, there it is. 78 thieving, pretty nice. Now we can do Dorgish and Rich chests. So I think I'm gonna call it an episode there because this has actually taken quite a lot longer than I wanted it to. Um, I think in the next episode I'm going to do some questing and be prepared for uh, Dorgish and Rich chests, which means I have to get graceful, so I'm gonna be doing that as well. That should take a decent amount of time and I'm probably also going to uh, go buy some rune armor now because we have 716k cash. So I'm actually going to take a trip to Narda really quick. Uh, the main goal right now, I suppose, is trying to get an Amulet of Fury, but at the same time, uh, once we get an Amulet of Fury, I really want to start doing Slayer. So we have a few options here. Now, the primary option that I have, which I'm leaning more towards of going at, is a method of crafting that Ultimate Iron Men use, and it'll take me about 40 hours to get to level 85 crafting, but uh, I will only lose money doing so. But money shouldn't be an issue since at 95 thieving we're getting the rogues outfit and we should make about 5 mil cash getting to 99. So... We'll have enough money to buy the Amulet of Fury, but we'll be like pretty much broke after that. The other option is that I stop crafting at 75 or even at 80, get a plus 5 boost or no boost at all, uh, make a couple glories, make some cosmic runes, and then uh, charge some orbs. But I'm not really sure if I want to go that route because that will take quite a while and I have to worry about dying in the wilderness then so I can go with a more risky route that will take longer to get 85 crafting but I'll have some money when I get 85 or I can take the route that I have planned right now which is 100% safe quicker uh, but I won't have money for construction uh, which also means that I'll have to do Ecto Funtis for training prayer and I won't be able to put portals in my house for quicker transport around the game uh, early on. So a few things to think about. I'll probably figure it out within the next few episodes. So I'll see you guys in the next episode with some questing and some agility.